Hi, I'm Jesse Henning, a senior VFX artist in the game industry with a background in creating gameplay and cinematic effects for AA and AAA titles, all in the Unreal Engine. I believe visual effects is one of the most exciting and rewarding roles in the games industry. It is also a role that recruiters and studios are constantly looking to fill because there just aren't enough of us out there. That's why I'm creating this course. I want to help to prepare artists to not only create visually appealing and immersive effects, but to also help them bring those effects to life by prototyping gameplay logic that can help communicate design and system needs with other disciplines in a production. This is a massive course that will exist in three separate parts. Each will build on the other. The first part, we will create our respawn and ammo pickup effects. Those will lay the foundation for part two, where we will move into our weapons effects. We'll create laser blaster effects for our character and enemy turrets as well as a predator-like plasma blaster for our character. Finally, we'll wrap up in part three with an energy shield and a pulse grenade, exploring more advanced materials and more technical Niagara system techniques. In each part of this series, I will go through creating and using concepts to plan and prepare for creating our effects. Then we will create any external assets like our meshes, textures, and simulations and bring them into Unreal. We will build simple to complex materials from the ground up to give us greater control over art direction and functionality. We'll also use blueprints to craft all the functionality for our effects. We'll dive into the character blueprint, blueprint actors for effects animation and functionality, and use child blueprints for controlling iterations of our effects with custom properties that we can manipulate. Finally, we will compose our effects in our Niagara systems and create satisfying timing and visual communication for gameplay. We'll be using Blender, Substance Designer, Houdini, Embergen, and Unreal 5.1 or later for this course. If you do not have access to some of the paid programs, I've made all of the assets available along with the base engine for use in this course. This course is for more advanced beginners and intermediate level students, and will assume you have some basic understanding of Unreal and the programs used. My hope is that by the end of this series, you will have a greater set of tools and techniques at your disposal for crafting and prototyping effects in a production environment, and that you will be able to create a stunning portfolio to help you land that dream job as an effects artist, or at least take your career to the next level. I'm excited to share some of what I've learned from my time in the games industry, especially while using the Unreal Engine. So join me and let's start crafting.